such beauty. Go down. Sing, sing, sing. Four. Not bad, not bad. Now you. Showtime. Lamia. Here. Yeah, we took down that wall. Oh, it was an evil finish. wall. Let's finish them off in one blow. What did she say? This birdcage, it's just like the one back in Shibuya. Does this mean that bastard Natsume is kicking it somewhere inside? I'd like to say we should just bust our way in, but how does it look, Sophie? It looks like it's still locked. We'll need someone to touch it so we can hear the voices in his heart. Okay, then. You're up, Skull. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like it's gonna hurt, and it doesn't seem right to ask Sophie to do it. Oh, but it's cool if I do it? Oh, come on, Skull. You're, you know, uh, tough. And he's already experienced it once before. If anything, he's the ideal candidate. Uh, to just make us look like a bunch of dorks. All right, I'll do it. I could do it if you want. That's cool. I got it. Thank you, Skull. Sheesh. You'd think someone his age would have at least some talent. <laughs> like it matters. This kid's gonna make us a fortune. Ow! Damn, this shit hurts. Well, thanks to that, however, we've managed to hear a good amount. I didn't really get it, but uh, it sounded like some kind of cafe. Indeed. I heard one of them say Gatore Coffee. Right. Gatore is the name of a cafe chain. But I don't think I saw any around Sendai Station. If there aren't a lot of them, it'll make finding the right one that much easier. Well, at the very least, we've got a lead on finding the trauma room now. Right. Let's get out of here and find us a coffee shop. All right. We're on the hunt for a Gatore Coffee. First, let's find out how many are in the area. The Tory Coffee. Got it. There's only one that's close to Sendai Station. Whoa, that was fast. It's a bit of a walk, but I'll be happy to guide you to the destination. You're amazing, Sophia. It's like you were made to be a navigator. Ugh, but being the navigator's my job. from it's simply a question of having the right person for the right job fear not Futaba there are plenty of things only you can do huh. I guess that's true nobody else can act like a weirdo quite like you do Inari uh, who are you calling a weirdo a few minutes later this is it Gatori coffee I can smell the coffee Seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. All right, let's make it happen. The trauma cell's calling our names. Trauma cell? The key to opening that birdcage has got to be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? Of course. It's Prince of Nightmares. It's just like what happened in Shibuya. This is where Natsume's trauma comes from. What could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. Uh, are you sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo Natsume. <laughs> the kid's entered every contest, but he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. No skin off my nose, so long as he keeps raking it in. We hit the jackpot with that one, and I plan on riding him straight to the top. And if he does, by some miracle, make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins, right? <laughs> These guys are the worst. Here it comes. This guy again. Not fight, not fight, not fight. 
This is fucking impossible. What the fuck? Who made this level? I am so focused right now. I can't even look at the chat. Hold on. Inside the bird cage now, right? Better get going then. Or were we? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for the follow. The next day. What? What is this? Well, when the staff came to open the store this morning, it was already like this. Look at this shit! I am the monarch. My followers are loyal. That is, as long as I hold their desires. No. Having those desires is proof of my claim to power. Proof of my sovereignty. I won't hand them over. I won't give them up. You foolish heroes are nothing but talk. Come then. I'll crush every last one of you. Later that night. <laughs> you certainly took your time, phantom thieves. Or should I say, chosen heroes? About time we met, eh, Mr. Overlord? You're gonna give back all those desires you stole! <laughs> Such foolishness! You haven't the slightest idea of what you just walked into! Ah, uh, I think the fuck not, you trick-ass bitch! <laughs> Everyone looking down on me. Ow, ow. Yes, the time has come for my true power. You wretches shall witness my final form. What was that noise? Huh? Oh. I'm a bird. On second thought, we're actually fucked. You ignorant whelps dare to challenge the great overlord himself! Imbeciles! I will feast upon your bones! Holy crap! A dragon! Be careful, guys! This one's really tough! Put the hurt on! Useless against me! Such beauty! Go oh, go! Four. I mean, who's the man? Here! I mean, it's showtime! Would you care to join us? Get ready! Look at Black! Is this cute little lesbian and how tight is her pussy? My magic armor! Don't look what? at me! Don't look at me! Is that his true form? Looks like it. So in the end, even his identity was just a cheap imitation. It's over, Ango Natsume. You're just a bunch of stupid kids! You don't know how much I'd suffer! 
It's not too late for me. I've still got my reputation as a writer. I've won an award. I've sold books. It's not too late. It's never too late. And that's good enough for you? <laughs> this fame you've acquired through deception and the brainwashing of others. Is that truly what you wanted? What was the real reason you started writing novels? I... I mean, I... Damn it! Damn it! I tried. I really tried. Just like everyone else, I read and read all through the night. I put hours on end like my life depended on it. And for what? Nothing I wrote was ever mine. It was just another work from Sogo Natsume's grandson. Acknowledge me, damn it! Acknowledge Ango Natsume's efforts for once! I just want someone to see that I really tried! I do. Huh? It's very clear just how much work you've put into writing your novels. A life led by creativity is almost always a lonely one. No matter your profession. You were battling that loneliness. <sighs> Stupid kid. Talking my damn ear off. But... You're right. This identity of mine was built on nothing but lies. I don't need it anymore! I'll do it. I'll climb my way back up. And I'll do it on my own strength! I know now what it is I really wanted. <sighs> the cage is collapsing. Come on, we're leaving! Looks like it's over for now. Mission complete. Eventually. Hey, something doesn't seem right here. Mr. Natsume's the one who put this thing together, right? Do you think the editors were just trying to profit off Mr. Natsume's family name? Uh. Hey! not allow this. You... You're the one from the party. I'm so sorry for what I said back then. I will not allow you to cower and run away, Ango Natsume. You intend to make a comeback, do you not? Huh? When you do return to the literary world, I want to see a book with your name on it. Not your grandfather's. <gasps> You are going to write a novel that you can be proud of, are you not? Thank you. Thank you so very much. Where are they supposed to be? Once everything is rightfully resolved, I will make my return. Even if there's just one person out there waiting to read my stories. No matter what, I will keep writing. I only hope. I can one day save someone's soul the way my grandfather's novel saved mine when I was young. That is why I write. And that about sums up Natsume's confession. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's just like what Alice said. And Natsume's smartphone worked the same as Alice's too. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? You're talking about how Alice's smartphone was being monitored by someone, right? So the same occurred with Natsume's phone as well. Well, any idea who it is? Sorry, I got nothing. All I found were traces. So Alice and Natsume were being watched by someone.
Why are you crying? Hey, what's wrong, kid? Oh, you got separated from your mom, huh? Don't worry, I got you.